Okay, so in this video, we're going to derive the formula V is equal to or omega, that is the linear velocity of an object in circular motion is equal to the radius of the circle times the angular velocity omega. So to do this, we're going to start with the definition for a radian, which is theta, the angle is equal to S over or, S being the arc length and or being the radius. We can then get this and divide both sides by t, so that would be theta over t is equal to s over or times t. Now we know that omega, the angular velocity, is equal to the angle theta over time. That's the definition of angular velocity. And we also know that v, velocity, is equal to distance over time. So I can substitute in omega here for theta over t, so that gives me omega on that side. And then s over t will now become v, so that's v over or. v over or. And then I just need to multiply across by or and rearrange to get v is equal to or omega as required.